Good evening, football fans, and welcome to Tailgate Talk. We're coming to you live from the friendly confines of Lures Field on the south side of Fort Wayne, and boy, do we have a great night of football on tap for you. Let's set the stage. Again, we're coming to you live from the sidelines of Lures Field, where tonight the Battle of the Bishops will take place. Bishop Dwinger Saints taking on the host Bishop Lures Knights. Good evening, everybody. Sean McBride here. My left is Mr. Mark Watts, and to my right is Mr. Joe Wharton. We're going to come back again to quarterback play. Wisniewski's three-year starter. He's got a couple of people to throw to. Which yeah. Dwinger team is going to show up? Six-game losing streak coming into it tonight. If they lose it tonight, it'll be a seven-game losing streak, which is the longest in school history. They've got to stop now. They've got to get the brakes on right now, guys. Three to the right now. Wazinski looks to throw. Looks a little dump pass to Charlton. He's got it left side. He's got some room. He's got some blockers. He makes a cut, and he is finally tripped up inside the 30 down to the 20-yard line. On fourth and goal, Wazinski looks right, goes over the middle, and it is thrown. Caught. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bishop Lures. Again, throw that time to number two, Corey Griggs. And, and he used Austin Mack as a decoy. He did. Great call by the Lures offensive coaches here's a snap a little low and it goes for fake he goes to throw goes out wide left deep does he have it is it picked off is the question intercepted by Mac. Intercepted by. Mac. this looks like jalen smith there'd be about two or three plays when jalen smith would play i'd say oh my goodness and that's it for the first half of action ladies and gentlemen the Bishop Lures Knights on top of the Bishop Lures Saints 7 to 0. Right now we're going to send it down to the sidelines with our own Nick Gray. I'm pleased to be joined by uh, three very special people. When you first start as a chaplain, you kind of feel weird too, just like a freshman like you don't know anybody and they're ignoring you. And now this year it's like I don't know, I've been experiencing a lot of joy because I know so many faces. I went to a public high school, and so to have this experience of having the faith a part of every aspect of this team, you know, before the, the game, I had 100 men on our football team kneeling before the Blessed Sacrament. Where else do you get that? I love both Bishop Lores and Bishop Dwyer. They both have such great spirit, great faith, and that's why we have these schools. So uh, I'm, proud of the, I'm proud of the kids. The uh, 1985 Lures Championship uh, team is being honored on their the 30-year anniversary. These guys are class guys. They're good Christian fathers and husbands, and we're all going to be proud of these guys tonight. All right, boys, back to the X's and O's. Well, first of all, Mac had three touches. So Dwanger's doing a great job containing and no big plays. Last year they did not score one point in the fourth quarter of the entire season. Let's see if they can get off the snide. Here's Stegmeyer for the kick. And it is a high end over end kick deep. Taken at the goal line is Austin Mack. Waiting for a wall to set up, trying to get to the right side. Finds a seam, breaks through it. He's at midfield. He is gone. Stegmeyer Forget can't about catch it. him. He is off to the races. That is a Bishop Lewis touchdown. Austin Mack on the first possession of the third quarter roasts the Saints. 99 yards. We did a game like this last year. Lures kind of was lethargic, and I said, what are they going to do? Well, they didn't even wait for their first time. Great no, job on, no. the, on the blocking by the kick return team. Let's give them some credit because nobody was, there was not a white jersey near him. Here's a snap. Play action. Looking right. Throwing down. He's got coverage. He's got a man. It's caught. Past midfield down to the 35-yard line. Good Berghoff. Evans. That is Berghoff, number 86 on the catch that time. Great throw and catch by the Saints. They do break huddle and come out with the Wildcat. Austin Mack lined up as quarterback that time. Man in motion. And uh, here they're going to try the jet sweep. No, the counter again. Mack, left side, five. Easy peasy, dances into the end zone, untouched on the counter. 28-8 to eight is your score. The Bishop Lures Knights take a commanding lead to start the fourth quarter. Here is the snap. Pacioni looks to throw. Goes deep, right side. Man coverage. He's got a man. Caught. Touchdown, Saints. Fetterspiel. Fetterspiel with a first touchdown in the fourth quarter for the Bishop Winger Saints. In uh, I don't know how year. long. Yeah, yeah he year. broke it. He <laughs> broke it. Right. On fourth and six. Here's the snap. He rolls to his right. He's looking downfield. Looks, looks, looks. Throws to the flats. He's got a man. A it is caught. Yes, and it is a good catch and a first down. They keep the drive alive. Here's the snap. Looks left. Checks off. Finds some room. No, oh. he's swarmed over. Sack. Big sack that time by the Bishop Lewis Knights. Pacelli goes down, and the ball is turned back over to the Knights. 28 to 15 is your final score, and what a game it has been. Good first game. It good was first a good game. first game. A lot of good things to come out of here for both sides. Let's check in with the Godfather down on the sidelines. Hey, thanks, guys. Coach Lindsay, congratulations. First game of the year. I'm just proud of 
all the kids are on the field. Uh, they were ready to go. Um, very proud of our defense. Um, you know, offensively, I think we're gonna we're gonna get some things going. All in all, it's just a great uh, great effort. I'm Sean McBride, wishing you a good night. God bless you, and we'll see you on the sidelines. You're listening to Redeemer Radio, 106.3 FM.